it's the 8th of March today and we're all packed and ready to go back to the UK. I just thought I'd show you the uh, lounge that we have, which has been a nice size for the three of us. Little workstation there. For putting videos on YouTube. And a good size kitchen. Because we, um, we don't go and eat out every day, it would be too expensive, so we uh, like to have self-catering, and that's been very nice. And uh, obviously we've got telly, got um, a gas fire, just switch it on so you can see, which makes it very cosy, as we have had one day of um, continuous snow, so it was nice to be in here. a bit of telly, doing a few skiing videos for you all. We've got a ensuite. Plenty of cupboard space for three. Don't know if you'll see in there, it's probably too dark. Good size ensuite and we have a shower and in our bedroom we have a jacuzzi bath we haven't used it but it would been you know it's there if you want to use it we asked for the valley view as it uh, is cheaper to have a valley view rather than the um, view of the mountain but that suits us better because it's quieter the après ski goes on quite a long time and we're not as young as we used to be, so we don't really want to be up that late. That hotel has a swimming pool. I don't really understand why they don't have these hot tubs and swimming pools covered. They must have some sort of free energy to keep them uncovered like that. I don't find that at other ski resorts that I've stayed at. It's about a two hour journey. Vancouver Airport. Thank you very much. <laughs> bye bye. This is what the business class department in an Air France plane looks like. Actually at the moment there are very few people around. Coronavirus might have something to do with that. Or it might be still early because we, we boarded really early. But 
has a, a, an abundance of movies to watch. There is loads of space. I think we will be pretty comfy in here getting to Paris. Just leaving Charles de Gaulle Airport, Paris, France. Good job, we've got a reasonably big car. So, we're back. <laughs> we're just going to go now to Sinnington and pick the boys up. As you can see, the stables are finished. And that's the stable and the tack room, I should say. They're finished. I'll give you a tour later. We're off now. And all we're going to do is we're going to pick them up, we're going to change the rugs, and then they'll go into the field for uh, today. No doubt we'll be dying to get out onto a bit of grass. Hopefully it's not too wet, but we'll put them in the sectioned off part so that if it is too wet, at least it's only turning one part up. Yeah, it's nice to be able to turn around in your own driveway. with your face, eh? What are you doing there on your face? Boy, what a good boy you are. What a good boy. Over, over. Good boy. Here's a good boy, yes, you've got to get your rug on, then go in the field for a runabout and everything. 
good lad, aren't you? What a good boy you are. What a good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. Hello, Apollo. Hello there. Oh, they put the strips on. That's good, isn't it? Farouk's looking at his new torque grill. He, know, he knows there's something different. Just make sure you're all right there, good boy. Good boy, he <laughs> is. Good lad. What a good boy you are. Apollo. 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 Calm down. Apollo! Apollo! Go on! Apollo! Will we be able to catch Apollo and put him in the place he's supposed to be? Hope you'll tune in tomorrow to find out. TTFN.